Magandang umaga po sa inyong lahat. Ako po si Crisanta Laura Fernandez mula sa paralan ng Aurora Senior High School na nasa ikalabing dalawang baita. Sa gitna ng pandemya, mas natutulungan tayo ng RBI Radio Eskwela sa ating pag-aaral. Mas napalalawak nito ang ating kaalaman at nagsisilbing gabay sa ating mga mag-aaral. Ugaliin nating magbigay atensyon at makinig sa mga aral maaaring nating makuha sa pamamagitan ng online o media platforms. Nais ko pong pasalamatan ang mga guru nating walang sawang sumusubaybay sa ating pagkatuto at sa RBI team. Sa Radyo Eskwela, patuloy ang edukasyon. Senior High School On Air Academy Unstoppable! Delivering you quality education amidst pandemic. To be fair, school opening to October 5. Unstoppable! Giving you accessible learning platform anytime, anywhere. Ang klase, whatever form it is. Comprehensible! Talk it up and get yourself ready. I will repeat, and you will do it later on. Accurate! The sphere that includes all living things. Today, we will be talking about rational functions. Simplify. This is Jaw speaking. How may I help you? This is Jet Ed School Radio's Senior, Senior High, High School, School on, air. on Air Academy. And now, here's your new episode for Philo Foundations. Your guide for the subject, Introduction to Philosophy. Philo Foundations. Philo Foundations. Best afternoon, dear listeners and students. How are you? I know you're all excited to learn another topic in our school on the air in Introduction to Philosophy. As what Malcolm X said, education is a passport to the future, for tomorrow belongs to those who prepare for it today. So prepare yourselves into a new meaningful learning in our broadcast. And I am so grateful to be with you again in this modality of learning. I am Ms. Kamil Kim Villamera, your radio teacher for today's episode. Before we start, make sure that you are comfortable in your place and you are focused to hear and carefully understand the lesson to be aired. Using your self-learning module and learning activity sheets, let us enhance your understanding on what you read and the said learning materials at home. Are you ready? I bet you are! Before we proceed to our new lesson, let's try to recall some of the highlights of our previous discussion. Can you mention some of this? Very good! Yes! The development of societies throughout history shows the development of humankind in response to changing surroundings and historical developments. What else have you learned from your previous lesson? Excellent! The various forms of societies that merge are hunting and gathering society, pastoral society, horticultural society, agrarian society, feudal society, industrial society, and post-industrial society. Oh, wow! I am really amazed! Your responses are indications that you understood your past lesson and that you are now ready for a new learning. Now, let us check your quiz last time. Listen to me because I will just say the answers twice. Check your own paper and be honest always. Do not forget to tell your teacher regarding your scores in our previous episode. Is that clear? Yes, ma'am. Good. Let's start. Number one. The answer is A. Number two. The answer is D, as in dog. Number three. The answer is is B, as in boy. Number four, the answer is D, as in dog. And the last item, number five, the answer is C. Did you get it all? I hope you got it all. Yes. Now, let's have a new lesson. For today, our lesson is all about the human person in the society. In this topic, 
he will explain how human relations are transformed by social system. Are you ready, dear learners? Yes, ma'am. That is great to hear. Before we go further, I want you to reflect how society influences your development as a person. I will give you a couple of seconds to reflect. Are you done reflecting? Is there anyone who would like to share his or her reflection? You know, my dear students, by growing up in Philippine society, we begin to adopt the traits, traditions, and characteristics that distinguish Filipino culture. We learn to speak our mother languages by interacting. Through that, we also learn how to behave appropriately what beliefs and traditions to practice, and what ideas and perspectives to consider acceptable. This define our identity not only as persons, but as a member of the society as well. Remember, the person and the society have a very dynamic relationship in which one cannot exist without the other. Then, what are the roles of the society in the growth and development of a person? Yes, one of the roles of society is being the backdrop by which we adopt the prevailing culture, identity, values, ideas, and knowledge of the persons, groups, and communities that surround us. The society influences us as persons since its ability is to define the relationships and interactions among its members through establishing norms. Norms, laws, and other rules that regulate human interactions give rise to a social system, which is an organized or pattern set of relationship among individuals and groups that compose a society. Certain groups that perform vital functions in society are recognized as social institutions, and this include the family, school, government, and religion. Our lives are a continuous interaction with different social classes, groups, and social institutions. These relationships contribute to shaping our view of the world and defining our identity. A well-functioning social system where all members, groups, and institutions work in harmony will ensure that society remains harmonious and continues to uphold the welfare of its members. Is everything clear, my dear students? Do you want more? Yes, ma'am! Wow! Truly amazing and inspiring! Society also transforms human relations, which leads to the transformation of its members. Another way that society shapes us is through social values, which are actions or ideals that are considered important by society. Just remember, a society that upholds positive social values will influence its members to uphold these positive values. On the other hand, a society that is defined by negative values will in turn produce individuals who embody these negative values. Are you still with me? Yes, ma'am! Wow! That's great! How does society enable you to become a better person? Society recognizes the capability of the person to develop and provides its members with opportunities to better themselves. Society provides opportunities for its members to grow and achieve well-being through its various institutions. Society endeavors to develop well-adjusted and productive members that can make significant contributions to society. It turns individuals uphold the common good and work to bring about positive changes in society. Is everything clear, my dear students? Good to hear! Everything is clear and understood by all. This time, let's have a recap on what we discussed. So remember the following. 
Number one, apart from defining individualities, society also influences the person by defining the relationships that its members are able to engage in. Society is able to define relationships and interactions among its members through norms, the establishment of a social system, and by upholding social values. Number two, society provides opportunities for its members to grow and achieve well-being through its various institutions. Society endeavors to develop well-adjusted and productive members that can make significant contributions to society. Number three, it turns individuals uphold the common good and work to bring about positive changes in society. Now, are you ready and excited to take a short quiz? Can I hear a yell from you? Yes, ma'am! Wow! What an energy! But before we proceed to the quiz proper, let's hear a short reminder brought to us by the Department of Education. Ladies and gentlemen, let's welcome our Miss Earth Warrior 2020 from the Philippines. Hi everyone! Miss Philippines, for you, what is the biggest problem the Earth is facing today and how can we solve it? Earth is suffering because of us humans. Climate change and global warming are the biggest problems caused by our bad acts. So I think the best solution is the practice of four R's. Let's reduce our carbon emission. Let's reuse for conservation. Let's recycle plastic. And let's rethink of our old ways. We only have one Earth, but the Earth has millions of us. Let's love it more than it loves us. Thank you. Let's take care of our Mother Earth. A message from DNR Depot in this station. Once again, my dear students, I am back, Miss Camille K. M. Villamera, at your service. You have nothing to worry because the quiz is very easy. I believe you can perfect it, provided you stayed and listened to the discussion by a school on the air. Alright, please get a piece of paper and identify the concept or concepts or term or terms for each statement. I will be reading it twice. For number one, these are actions and behaviors that are expected in a certain individual. For number one, these are actions and behaviors that are expected in a certain individual. For number two, this refers to informal and more stringent norms that establish and define acceptable behavior of citizens. For number two, this refers to informal and more stringent norms that establish and define acceptable behavior of citizens. Number three, these are set of traits and behavior that society considers acceptable and are thus encouraged and passed on to other members. Number three, these are set of traits and behavior that society considers acceptable and are thus encouraged and passed on to other members. For number four, these are actions or ideals that are considered important by society. For number four, these are actions or ideals that are considered important by society. For number five, this refers to an organized or patterned set of relationships among individuals and groups that compose a society. For number five, this refers to an organized or patterned set of relationships among individuals and groups that compose a society.
you really did well in our lesson today, my dear learners. Job well done! I will be giving you the answers for the quiz on the next episode. I am hoping to be with you again next time. So before I end, I just want to share the statement of Claire Fagan. Knowledge will bring you the opportunity to make a difference. To you, my dear students, always make a difference. Again, thank you so much for staying with me. I hope that you had fruitful time spent in our lesson. On behalf of the Isabella Radio Production Team and script writer, Mr. Richard C. S. Guerra, I have been your radio teacher for today, Ms. Camille K. Villamera, signing off. Goodbye! Patuloy, patuloy ang edukasyon para sa ating generasyon. Sa daan ng pagkatuto ay walang may iwan. Kaya halina sa Radyo, Radyo, Radyo Eskwela.